of course, there's risk in anything that, you know, any of us do uh, in the single family house business. You know, if you're rehabbing a house, uh, there's always the risk of the unexpected that may come up. Uh, you don't know exactly how long your carrying costs are going to go. Um, of course, we use a, a formula that accounts for the unexpected, but there's always the unexpected. In this world of tax liens, tax deeds, tax certificates, what are the risks that are involved? I heard you say, you know, if you're looking for a rate of return, you could get a rate of return of up to 36% um, annual rate of return. I heard you say that a second ago, but what, what are the risks that go with this type of business? The biggest risk is not knowing the area that you're investing. So I put it this way. A lot of people have heard historically through bad infomercials, YouTube, you know, we always get that bad information from new investors uh, that they heard from an uncle or somebody that is a guaranteed investment. Um, and counties actually will guarantee on the documentation, the rate of return, but it's always caveat emptor, which is buyer beware. And what that means is basically, if you don't do your due diligence, just like any other type of real estate, you're gonna get yourself in trouble massively. So where I've seen people go wrong many times is they just in their mind, they're hearing that they get this great rate of return, 36%, 24%, and they think they can buy any lien and get that money. Well, the reality is if the county's not able to collect that money, they can't pay you. So you may have just thrown money away. And after a certain period of time, there's a statute of limitations on there where they drop off and lose your money. So you could buy a lien. Many times you'll see a tax lien on a property, residential, commercial property, that the lien is actually higher than the property's worth. And people will invest in it because they don't do their proper due diligence or homework, just like anything else. Many times in areas like you'll see in Arizona, they'll sell tax liens at three year redemption period, 16%, but it's in the middle of the desert. They're just trying to create, you know, so if they're just like, we all know in real estate, a property is only worth what somebody else is willing to pay. If you end up investing in a lien against a piece of land that's worthless, you're never going to get money. And if you decide to acquire the property, if nobody sold land in that area for 50 years, odds are you're not going to sell it either. So that's where people tend to go wrong is not doing proper due diligence. And it's difficult because each area has different laws, different rules, different regulations. So you may learn ex incredibly well um, how to do it in one area and then jump to the next county and it's turned upside down. So it's just doing that proper due diligence. If you don't do that, you're just like any other type of real estate, you're going to bury yourself really quick.